Oh yeah, welcome back. I'm at Craster again. It's a little bit choppy this morning, so uh, it's been a little bit interesting getting out the harbour, but uh, nothing too bad. Um, it's a beautiful day. The water's a bit coloured this close in because we've just had a big southerly sea. But I'm going to just head on out to the first reef. Uh, the tide's still going out, so it's still going north. I'm going to let that take us up to the castle and uh, stick the fish black minnow on, see how we do. I'll catch you in a bit. So, first drop, eh? The water's not too bad out here at all. Um, I'm drifting at two and a half kilometres an hour. I've got a 25 gram fish black minnow uh, at the end of about three or four foot of 20 pound fluorocarbon attached directly to me braid, which is 13 pound Daiwa J braid. You know what, I'm going to go out a little bit further because there are some uh, lobster pots over there and I'm going to go and drift along that line because I can guarantee they're on the rough ground. So the swell's considerably bigger here, which is always a good sign that you're over some depth changes. And I've got the lobster pots behind us as well. That's always a good sign, so we'll get this down there, see if we can get the first fish up there. Eh? That would be nice to get that one in the bag. Oh, I'm in. <laughs> first fish of the day. Let's get this up and have a look at it. <laughs> get in. It doesn't feel too bad. It's quite noddy, so I'm going to go with coddling. Let's get it up and have a look at it there. Eh? I was just thinking there, this ground was looking nice because the depth has just gone, the depth has just changed to 13 metres from about 15. There you go. Oh, hey, what a cracking fish to start off with there. Eh? <laughs> Brilliant. Well, oh, I'm pleased with that, like. Let's get him in and we'll get him unhooked. Easy. And then uh, we can get him away, eh? Give you a quick look first. Well, that'll do, isn't it? Hey, see you later, mate. Get in. Well, there you go. That's the first one in the bag. It's always good to get that one out the way, isn't it? Right. Well, let's get down then. See if we can get another one, eh? I'm in. <laughs> I thought something was going on. I couldn't work out what it was. Something was coming up and hitting us, but I wasn't connecting with it, but it felt like my lure was bottoming out. <laughs> Let's get this up. It's another codlin. Get in. <laughs> oh, I love it. Let's get you out, mate. Let's get you unhooked. There we go. A little bit smaller than the last one, but uh, beautiful fish nonetheless. Let's check that lure and we'll get back down there. I might drift this little bit of ground again, I think, because it seems to have been doing all right, doesn't it? Oh, I'm in. <laughs> Same thing again. I was wondering what was going on and it was because there was a fish on. Let's get this one up. I think this is just a little chap. Oh, hey. Oh, no, it's come alive, that. Goodness me, what's this? I think that was like a pollock dive, that. And that's what we've got, a pollock. Yes. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, dear me. Oh, that's such a shame. Well, I'm counting it. One Pollock, right? <laughs> oh, you bugger. Oh, well, it's a good start of the day, isn't it? Because uh, I must admit, when I pulled up at the harbour and saw the waves crashing through, I was a bit, oh. Not, not just for getting out and for it being a bit swelly, but uh, also because uh, I thought the water would be a lot muckier than it is. This could be another Pollock, this, you know. Could well be. Let's get it up and have a look at it, eh? Brilliant, eh? What have we got? I think it's going to be a codlin because it's uh, decided to behave itself. But we'll see. It is, it's a codlin. Oh, and it's a nice one. Get in. Let's get you uh, 
See if we can show everybody this one. Because uh, we didn't do too well with that Pollock, did we? Right. There we go. Another beauty. Hey, it's been a good start, hasn't it? Well, I'm glad we caught on that first drift because I'd be feeling a bit downhearted if this was the first drift because uh, I've had nothing for a good 15, 20 minutes now. How are you, man? So, I've come quite a long way out uh, for Dunstan, bruh. I don't mean in general, so I'm only probably three quarters of a mile off the point, but uh, there's some good water here, and I think the visibility is a little bit better. Yeah, it is a bit better, but... Um, so I found a little bit of a reef kind of thing. It's sort of, you have to go through sort of 25 metres of water to get here, and when you get here, it's about 18 metres, so... There's something going on, and there's lobster pots all over, so we'll have a little explore around here and see if we can uh, grab ourselves a fish. I can see a fish on the sounder there. I can see me lure going down, but uh, it's quite a long way behind it, so we've missed that by now. Well, that's very definitely a decent fish there going through. So if we can just uh, grab a couple of them, I'd be happy. Oh, I'm in! Get in! <laughs> oh, it's not little either. Get up! I think this is going to be a decent coddling by the feel of it. Oh, well, we've waited a while for this, haven't we? Let's hope we'll get it up to the top so you can have a look at it. What are we in? 18 metres of water. Oh, it feels like a canny chunky monkey, this. Well, I'm excited to see what we've got here. It's been a little while, hasn't it? It's uh, deep water, like. So it might not be as big as you think, but yes. <laughs> I'm chuffed with that. That will do for me. And right in the top lip as well. Get in. That'll do. It's uh, maybe not as big as I thought at first, but it's for sure a fish that I'm pleased to catch. Look at it, man. That's nice, isn't it? Brilliant, we'll get that straight back. See you, buddy. And he's away, no bother, isn't he? Oh, well, that's nice. I'm glad I pedalled out here. Oh. Is me lure all right? Wait, ah, there's another fish left in that. Come on, then, I wouldn't mind hitting a few of them now. That would be lovely. Oh, get in. <laughs> another codlin, I'm going to say. Ah, oh, brilliant. Glad we came out. There seems to be a, well, a few more fish out in this deeper water, I will say. Because, uh, as I said before, it's been about an hour before I had a, uh, that first fish just there. Sorry, which is like the fourth fish of the day. I know I'm not making much much sense, but uh, we'll just get this up and have a, we'll have a look at it. Eh? And I'll just stop chatting on because I'm just talking nonsense. Oh, that's a beaut, isn't it? Get in. Let's have a look at you. It's another nice fish, that. I'm pleased with that one. Let's uh, get this out. Part one done. There we go. There he is. Whoop, easy. So, uh, he's a nice chap, isn't he? Hey. Catch you later, buddy. Oh, I'm a bit tired, so uh, my mouth's not making much sense, like, is it? But as long as we keep catching fish, I'm sure you don't mind. <laughs> So we've got that saved, so I might reset this drift now. Uh, we'll have a little bit of this type. Oh, I might not reset it if I'm into a fish here. Let's have a look. Oh, I think it's just a little and I've lost it, I think. I think I've lost it. Oh, I haven't, it's still on. You know, you'll have worked out by now that I'm definitely not a cool angler, like. <laughs> Whoop, little pouting. Get in. It's a bit wild, wasn't he? Let's get him up here. Yeah, definitely not cool me. I've got the... Uh... Right, we'll do it this way. I'll come to you, Mr. Pouton. Only the second Pouton I've had this year. Oi! Oh, and he's gone, so... Stop laughing. Right, so... 
still waiting for that tide to turn around. It seems to be taking an age today. Must be a combination of the wind and the residual swell that's coming from the south there. But I've changed reels over and this one's got enough braid on that I can actually cast it out. So I'm hoping that if I cover a little bit of ground now, whilst we're waiting for the tide to turn, I might pick up the odd codlin. By casting out is what I mean, so I'm covering more ground rather than just sitting still. I think. No, I'm not. <laughs> I was just going to say, I think I'm starting to drift, but I'm not. All of this was trapped around the bottom of me bloody... ...pedal drive because of the way this tide's running. It's doing me head in. Oh, God, have I got a fish? In the background, you've watched me doing that and I've caught a blooming fish. <laughs> I wonder how long that was doing that for then, eh? Bloody hell. Right, let's see what we've got, eh? I fancy it's going to be a little coddling. It'll be miffed like, but it's taking so long to get it up. And now, of course, I've got all this weed stuck to my feet. Let's see if we can get it to the top and uh, we'll go that way. See if we can get it round the, the cack here. Oh, how are you, man? It's taking a while, isn't it? There we go. <laughs> hey! So, I wonder if the tide has turned, eh? Easy tiger. Right. We'll unhook them. And we'll get them away. That must be the first fish I've seen for about an hour. So, uh, I'm pleased with that. Oh, I'm in. Get in. <laughs> oh, hey, I'm happy to get this fish, I'll tell you that. Oh, he's having a good... Uh, a good go, isn't he? It's been quite a while. I was starting to uh, lose faith there, but uh, let's get this up and have a look at it. I wonder if this is a pollock, because it's, uh, it's given us a little bit of jip on the way up. That would be nice, wouldn't it? Oh, hey, he's having a good run there. Well, a good pull on the line, I should say, because uh, I've got my drag quite tight, you see. I should have it a little bit looser than this, to be fair, like, but I think this is going to be a pollock, you know. Have a look at it. Could be wrong, like. But I'm not. Oh, it's a good looking pollock, that. Get in. Oh, brilliant. Oh, magic. Look at that, man. Oh, what a beast. Oh, hey, not quite ready, is he? Just nice and steady, mate. Get up. Get in. That's what we were looking for, isn't it? Eh? Oh, I'm chuffed with that, man. Oh, that was worth the wait, wasn't it? It's very lightly hooked in the top lip there, so I'll be able to get him up. Oh, look at that, man. He's a proper beast, isn't he? Oh, I'm pleased with that. It's a good looking fish, isn't it? It's a canny bit of weight to that. We'll not mess around. We've had a look at him. We'll get him straight back in. And away he goes. Kicked really strong there. Brilliant. It was right on the drop off there. Oh, I'm in again. <laughs> oh, did I miss it? Oh, I got it. <laughs> Didn't know where I was with that one. I think it's just a little chap. I think that's what that was. Oh, brilliant. Oh, we've started catching again. That's good, isn't it? So I think I'll drift this bit of ground again. Oh, sure. Brilliant. What we've got. Little coddling. Well, that's perked us up. A couple of fish in a row, eh? We'll get that out, mate. We'll get you away. There he is. Perfectly formed. See you, pal. Get in. I knew something had had a little tickle. I knew something was having a pull of me string. <laughs> Let's get it up and have a look at it. I think it's going to be a little coddling. behaving itself, so yeah, definitely a coddling. So it's come alive with that tide turning, hasn't it? Here we go. You can see it. Oh, that's a nice one, isn't it? God, he's a fatty. Let's get him up. Have a little look at him. Get on. 
Right, let me just uh, get that hook out. Look at him. He's a handsome little lad, isn't he? See you later, mate. And he's off. Mr. One. Oh, got that one. <laughs> oh, this is all right, isn't it? Let's get him up. Gonna go with coddling again. Great stuff, eh? It was a tough start of the day, wasn't it? But uh, we found the fish in the end. Get in. Oh, that's another nice coddling, that, you know. I'm happy with that. Here we go, mate. We'll get you off. To give myself a little bit of slack there. Right, buddy. If you stay still, this will be kind of easy. Right, how have you done that? Right. There we go. It's part one done. There we are. He's off. Happy little chap. See you later, buddy. Let's get down there. Get another one. Oh, I'm in. Get in. Oh, I lost it. <laughs> Oh, it felt like a nice fish as well. Oh, and it's been ages since I got a fish, man. Oh, that's devastating, isn't it? Oh, I'm in again. <laughs> oh, it's not the same one, but uh, I've obviously just gone over a little shoal. Damn it. Oh, that first one felt blooming nice, I'll tell you that. Anyway, we'll get this little coddling up and give you a look at him, eh? So we've just come over some rough ground, so the depth's gone from sort of 23 to 18, which is uh, why we're hitting fish now. Right, mate, I want you to go back down there and uh, tell that big lad that just had a pop that uh, I'm waiting up here for him, you know. I'll see him in a bit. There we go. Whoop. See you later, mate. It's uh, not that keen on me crack, that lad. He wanted to get away, can he, sharpish, didn't he? So I've come a little bit further in for the final stretch. I'm, uh, I'm not going to put the drogue out, I don't think, and just see if that wind slows us down a little bit uh, on this drift, because I was doing three kilometers an hour before. Oh, I missed that, whatever that was. Get in. I got it that time though. I think I might have my line wrapped around my rod tip though, so yeah, I was right. So I was right to uh, stop and unravel that. So let's have a little look and see what we've got here. I hope I haven't knacked my braid there. Right, it's going to be a coddling. I have a sneaking suspicion. And it is. See you, mate. That radio's getting annoying, isn't it? The signal here is awful. Right, that's it. I'm going to head in. The weather's turned a little bit snotty, and uh, I don't know how to stay me welcome. It's been a great day, though. I'm so glad I got up this morning. I'll be honest with you, I really didn't fancy it at five o'clock when my alarm went off, and I did hit the snooze button a couple of times, but uh, I'm glad I dragged myself out of bed, because it was all worth it just for that pollock, if nothing else. But we had some nice coddling as well, didn't we? Hey, listen, I just want to say thank you for getting to the channel to 2,000 subscribers. I mean, that's just fantastic, isn't it? I'm absolutely blown away by that. And uh, if you do fancy subscribing, remember, it doesn't cost you anything. But it does make a big difference as to how many people YouTube chooses to show your videos to. Another thing that helps is if you give us a thumbs up. And if you want to leave us a comment, I always reply. I'll catch you next time.